We're on. All right. So it's, I was just telling you, it's not a big deal. Just like 50, 60,000 people will be watching this. So no, don't, that's don't, it. don't feel bad, okay? All right. Okay. Oh, no, I'm like shaking. <laughs> Carl here again. It's uh, Tuesday, when, what day is this? Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday night, Wednesday. second day. It seems like we've been in Lebanon already for like a year because we did so many things yesterday and today. It's been awesome. Uh, today we went to the south of Lebanon and we met with a Hezbollah leader that we always meet with, uh, the, kind of the uh, the guy over the south of Lebanon and had a fantastic, we had almost three hours with them and it was really, really good. I think encouraging for everybody, had a great time, we prayed together. We actually all, we gathered, you, get, you guys know this, we gathered in this circle and uh, a very American thing to do, but we all get, we all grabbed hands. We all, all held hands and I think that was the first time, did you notice that? It was the first time this Hezbollah guy had ever like held hands with uh all, you know, like in wow. a circle, we all grabbed hands like this and stood around and prayed. And we prayed, uh, several of us prayed for him and prayed for the country. It was beautiful. And then I actually, uh, El Minar TV, so the Hezbollah TV station came in and and I did a little five minute, six minute talk on uh, Hezbollah TV and, wow. t- and told the story of the prodigal son. It was really, it was, it was a lot of fun. Anyway, tonight we're thinking about youth and about young people and about the thing that we started years ago called the Olive Grove that then reincarnated into the uh, student, student center, into the student lounge, and and the cool guy that leads it is Ahmed. This is Ahmed right there. Hello. Look at that. Look at that face. <laughs> and so this is Ahmed, and I just wanted him to say like hello something. Um, I really believe in the power of youth to change the world, but we can start by baby steps. We can pray to God to have uh, a better future for all our uh, sects, if you want. And because in Lebanon, there are more than 18 sects, religious sects, and everybody is trying to coexist together. But uh, more than praying, I hope that many young people would take an initiative mm. and a more aggressive movement to spread the peace and love, and especially in a country that is divided by sectarianism and religious, outrageous, uh, leaders who try to divide the people more and more. Why we are trying to getting people together and especially the young, the youth, and uh, which is the future of Lebanon after all. Woo-hoo. I mean, look at the, look at this face. Could anybody be mad? With, and then turn your head, turn your head. What's this back That's here? Profile. <laughs> now, is, That's now, when, you, when you think of a Muslim, when you think of an Arab Muslim. Is that what you're thinking of right there? Uh, yeah. Probably not. <laughs> I'm proud to say that I'm a Muslim, but at the same time, I'm a follower of Jesus, and I'm trying to fulfill his code of life as much as possible in my personal life and in my career, as I was telling you before. So it's uh, it's amazing what you can do by following the path of peace and love, and Jesus to be exact. Woo-hoo! All right, good job. That's Beautiful. awesome. Man. That's awesome. And so uh, this... Come over here, Natalie. You, you gotta switch. Hello. Okay, go over here to Natalie. <laughs> this is some. You guys all know Samir and Sophie Kudi. This is their oldest daughter, Natalie. Yeah. She's a gem. So Natalie, just say, I don't know, say whatever, whatever you're thinking of. Well, hi. Um, I'm Natalie, and I have um, hope for humanity, and I'm hoping to be able to do something with uh, starting locally, do something for Lebanon. Um, I guess find Jesus within everybody, be it Jesus, Buddha, all their teachings, all the greatest prophets, uh, and no, that's about it. That's it. So, so Natalie is again Samir. So we're in Samir. We're in her house right now. Yeah. So a lot of you guys have met uh, my friend Samir, and I just thought it'd be fun for you to meet a couple of people here, a uh, young lady, a young man who are uh, just kind of on this new journey of, of uh, thinking about what it means to follow Jesus, but they're both from Muslim backgrounds, and we're, uh, we're not asking them to, we don't think God is asking them to change their religion. Uh, their religious background is Muslim, their heritage is Lebanese, and so my heritage is America, and my religious background is Christian, I'm also trying to follow Jesus, and do that once in a while, well, uh, okay, but uh, not always. And they're doing the same thing. So I think it's just great to see uh, just what God can do through youth. And it reminds me of the teaching of Jesus uh, that, where he says you have to become like a youth or a, a little child, but a young person to enter the kingdom of God and the innocence and the exuberance and the hopefulness of youth. And just to remind ourselves that uh, when we hope, when we dream, when we have faith, uh, like a little child has faith and just simply puts their trust in God, that you really can change the world. You can make a huge difference. So that's it. Uh, Tomorrow morning we're off to Jordan. So I'll talk to you tomorrow from Jordan.
Good night or good morning. Good night.